This is a really important drill for beginner golfers, but also if you feel like you're an accomplished golfer, this is an incredible little practice drill that you can do as well. A lot of golfers, we get sometimes, and I do it as well myself, we get a little bit too stuck up on what the golf swing should look like, the basic fundamentals. My stance is going to be shoulder width apart, I need to do this, this, and this. And how many times do you actually then think, I've got like 500 swing thoughts. I'm thinking about takeaway, wrist angle. Do I start with the takeaway with my shoulders, my hips, my chest? Do I lift my arms? Do I turn my body? Does my arm go across my chest? Does it go high? Oh, does the weight go on my left? I mean, there's so much that we as golfers have to try and compute in a golf swing that takes like less than a second. This is absolute gold information delivered on a recent golf tip that I did with Pete Cowan. Now this is actually filmed kind of a little bit more kind of behind the scenes, but watch this, you'll learn a lot. If I was teaching beginners now, I'd get them to talk about body action in the simplest form. And I would say the body action really could, should be very simple. Stand there with your feet together and just feel that you're like a spring. Yeah. You're springing up and at the same time, we're sw swinging this club around the 45 degree as we're swinging up and back around. Yeah. So at least your body is consistent then, yeah, yeah. your movement. So it's not that it's got to be perfect, it's got to be consistent yeah, yeah. for you to get matching movement. Because yeah, yeah. not everybody's got perfect body action. No, no. But it has to be consistent, and that's why most amateurs are much more consistent when the feet are together. And they say, well, I wouldn't hit as far. No, but you'd hit the middle of the, middle of the club more often, yeah. and you'd hit the low point more often. Yeah. So that's the consistency of the movement. Then eventually, when they get that feeling, they can move to give right. themselves that little bit more power. Yeah. But that's, you know, that's what we're talking about really is getting the body to work in like the spring loading or what I call it spiral up to actually achieve that. We've got to spiral it up so that my arms now can spiral up and then they can swing down. But even when I get players to say, right, spiral your body up and put your arms up, the first movement to make is, yeah. is that. Yeah, yeah. And I said, well, that's not what I want to. Yeah, but well, that's almost inherent yeah. that somebody's there to do that. And I'm yeah. saying, no, your arms are swinging down with pressure and then you can move in through in balance. Yeah, yeah. Because the golf swing is all about like trying to rub your belly and pat your head. It's got a different direction. So yeah. your arms are going like this as your body is so, turning yeah. and very often your arms get trapped. Yeah. It, this is in simplest form. Yeah, We're yeah, talking yeah. about the simplest form. Yeah. Your arms are getting trapped. Whereas if you've got your arms now locked in and your body turns, then you can do that, and that's the old towel drill, drill lead, but, yeah. but, but then that's not powerful enough. So yeah. we've got to say, we do that by loading. Now it's locked in, but loaded. So now from here, I can still get that power punch as I'm turning, and yeah. it's not restricted it's not in any way, but it's still connected to the, to the turn. Yeah, and that's yeah. why I, I talk about spinning the arms, mm -hmm. the clubs in position, spinning the arms down there and getting shaft pressure and face pressure as the body is open. open. So what Pete is effectively saying there, you get your feet together and then you're just turning your body. So you're, you're rotating the golf swing upward. So I often describe this to a lot of my students, effectively like a spiral staircase. And I got that from Pete as well. So if you think of, you're going from the first floor to the sec second floor and you're going up like this. So that's how your body coils up to the top of the backswing. From a, from a static, from a stationary position, your body rotates it doesn't just it doesn't just kind of turn because if it turned I would be more like this I wouldn't have any sort of I wouldn't be looking at the golf ball but if I turn up now what happens you see on my right shoulder my trail shoulder is higher than my left shoulder I've got resistance through my core and I've got hip turn and in the hip turn here I've got my right hip higher than my left hip okay and that's kind of how I would be in the golf swing but one of the things that we do, and like I mentioned at the very start of the video, we have so many thousands of swing thoughts that we get stuck up with. We just need to go onto the practice range and just get practicing using the upper body to start with. So allow the shoulders to turn away, allow the arms and the hands to work the golf swing up. And from here, what you're gonna find is you're gonna have a decent angle of attack down onto the golf ball and through. Now, if you are one of my skillest students as well watching this video you'll be like yep Andy's made me do that because even if some of the, I mean I teach some plus handicapped golfers and I often say 
get down there, do your feet together drill, and just start to get a bit of feel on your sequence. And if you're a beginner golfer, and I did this recently with a lady, I was like, get on the range and just get your feet together. So that's what I mean about this drill, just being fit for all. Because we get to, you take your setup, feet together, you're gonna rotate, you get your height into the top of the backswing, you feel this right hip, your trail hip rotate, you feel the, the rotation of the right shoulder, your arms are up nice and high, and you turn through. Now, this helps all sorts of different faults. I'm not able to kind of spin out of it. I'm not able to fall back onto my trail side. I'm not able to over kind of tr transfer the weight to my lead side. And I'm just gonna be hitting what I feel like a punch shots. Now, I have to stress, under this tip condition, I'm under a little bit of pressure. I've got 150 yards to the flag. I've got water in front. I'm on a golf trip with Gazzy's Golf and I've got about four golf balls left. And I've got one day of filming left and these are two of the four. So they have to be dry. I can't afford to be losing golf balls today. Right, so we set up, good posture, good grip. Get that rotation up and turn. I want you to hold a balanced finish position as well. Let's see, let's see if we get a hole in one, eh? Okay, we find the middle of the green, we find the middle of the club face more importantly, and I've got a balanced finish position. Okay, so again, I've been able to hit down on the golf ball. I've not been able to, some golfers again, get stuck on the inside, so I'm not able to get into that position. If I've got my feet together as well, you'll find that you can't really hit a golf ball if you go out to in. So to, from here, you won't hit the golf ball because sometimes the golfers that swing it from out to in have to create a compensation on the way down to make a good strike on the ball. With your feet together, it doesn't allow you to do that. So again, in this sequence, it's encouraging you not only to have that kind of spiral staircase style rotation to the top, but it's also having that control in the transition and your lower body here, as you come into impact, will be slightly left of the golf ball for the right-handed golfers. So we've cleared the hips. We just don't need to overly rotate them. We don't need to clear them too much. We don't need to create unnecessary rotation, spine tilt, side bend, etc. So this is just getting you in a situation where you've got that controlled setup position. You're gonna get the spiral rotation up to the top. The arms are working back downwards and we're gonna get that spiral turn up on the way through as well. So it's a controlled move. And what you're seeing here, by the way, guys, I'm holding a seven iron. And as I said, the flag is 150 yards away and that golf ball has gone three yards past. So I'm hitting a seven iron with my feet together, 150 yards. Now I'm not saying you will, but you'll also be massively surprised at how far you can still hit a golf shot. And again, I must kind of digress again. I'm not saying go on the golf course and do this. It is an incredible practice drill. The feeling you get off the strike is vital. Middle of, the, middle of the face, incredible tip for all beginner golfers and for all kind of top quality golfers as well, like low amateurs, even pros. I get into a situation where I just did it actually, I was recording a reel for my Instagram videos and I got to the top. And I cleared out so early that I hit a massive block push slice. There, it's on the screen now. And it's I didn't think I didn't hear any crashing of glass so it didn't smash anyone's window but it was a high block right now this doesn't allow me to get into that position on the way down this allows me to get a controlled position as the arms work down back in front of my chest the lower body's clear so my lower body's clear to there so it's still cleared plenty of movement through and then into the rotation so you could argue this is not the most powerful movement of a golf swing but Again, if you're a beginner golfer watching this and I can get you to hit a seven iron out the center of the club face 150 yards, you've now got the equipment and the skill level to be an 18 handicap golfer. This is the, these are the steps we gotta take to, for the improvements. So again, not allowing, this is not allowing your faults, okay? Not to say that you'll do the drill and you'll just instantly start ripping it, but you'll start to learn the mechanics of the golf swing, where you get the transition and the arms working down, you'll notice there, as my arms work down, my body's still moving. I'm not saying don't turn your hips, okay? So you get to the top, there's still movement, 
and I've hit, that's my impact position. If I just widen my stance, that's not bad, is it? I'd take that. It's a good position. Everything's square, lower body's turned out, pressure's on my left side, and work up into a nice balanced position as well. So there's loads and loads of positives to this swing, to this drill, and I can't just talk about just helping your takeaway or just helping your backswing. It looks after a little bit of everything and gets your confidence back with your ball striking. So give it a try. Jump in the comments section below. If you're one of my skilly students and you've tried this, do me a little favor, just jump in the comments section below as well. And just tell the world how good of a drill it is and what it's helped you stop doing or why we used it for your golf swing. And if you're not a skilly student, you're gonna see all the different ways that I've used this drill for different golfers. So it's really, really interesting. A little social experiment here. It's really, really interesting for you all to see. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to share this video with maybe a beginner golfer or a golfer you think this can help, please do so. Lots more content coming to the channel. I'm out here at La Hacienda in the south of Spain. As you can see, it's just spectacular. Right behind you, we've got the sea. It's just beautiful. Thank you to them for having me. Thank you for you for watching, and I'll see you next time.